Well, good evening. Uh, my name is Amanda Young Kaluji. Um, I am running for city councillor in Markham, uh, in Ward 6 area. And um, to me, this is a very important election. And why is that? It's because it is a new ward and a new city councillor will be elected to represent the residents and citizens of Markham Ward 6. And I hope that this representation will reflect the face of the Markham Ward 6 residents. A little bit about myself, some people may not know a lot, uh, uh, too much about me. Um, I have a very strong business background. I have been in the private sector for over 20 years now. And uh, I used to work at IBM and I held various leadership roles at IBM. And um, I also have my business for over seven years now as an entrepreneur. And um, in 2009, I was very, very fortunate that uh, I actually won, I actually won uh, the Association of Chinese Canadian Entrepreneurs uh, Award. And um, in the, my past years, um, I have been serving in the Markham area. Um, that includes uh, my service at Markham Stover Hospital to help them with the fundraising effort, which is, I think it is very important, especially as a Markham resident. I mean, that is the only hospitals that we have and uh, really provide a lot of service to Markham residents. So I'm really proud to be part of their fundraising uh, efforts and fundraising team. Um, I have also speak at uh, Centennial and Seneca College uh, to share my entrepreneurship uh, experience. Um, it's more or less to help the next generation if they wanted to start their business. It's always too good to hear success stories and encouragement from people who have been there and done that. And I've also speak at uh, Welcome Center to share uh, my success story as an immigrant. So I think that you know, I, I've got a really good journey in, in, uh, in Canada over 20 years. And there are, uh, these are the professional leadership skills and experience that I will bring to you you to represent Markham Ward 6 residents. I consider myself as very culturally uh, diverse. Just look at my family, I got two mixed kids. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> yeah. And um, I'm also, you know, fully integrated with the Canadian culture, but at the same time, I've also retained my Chinese tradition, thanks to my mom, and my mom actually got a whole table there too. So I still speak very fluent Cantonese, and limited Mandarin. <laughs> my Mandarin friends will probably laugh at my Mandarin, but <laughs> I still can get by in um, that sense. I'm very unique in a way that I represent the face of cross-culture and the diverse community of Ward 6, which is where I call home. Talk about Ward 6. I have been living in Markham Ward 6 for over 12 years. I have seen the tree grow from tiny little trees and then now it's like so big and I have seen those driveway was not paved and there was no street light to a point that the, the community blossomed and become a very beautiful and vibrant community and I love where I live and all the, the issues that with the residents in Markham Ward 6 they are my issues because I live there and I'm in the same boat as all of you, the Markham Ward 6 residents. And I also have a young family, just like many of the Markham Ward 6 residents. Just like me in the mid 40s. Yeah, I'm over 40s. <laughs> so, and also have a young family, and my kids will go to the same school as our parents would do, and as our neighbor. They go to the same school as my kids. And I'm your neighbors, and I know your issues firsthand. And obviously, because of my love to Markham Ward 6, there's really no other ward I would want to run to become the representation of Markham residents than in Markham Ward 6. 
Looking back a few years ago, many people asked me, why are you running for a city councilor? You got a good business, you got a good career and everything. Why are you running? When I reflect back a few years ago, I remember that my brother, who passed away from cancer, and he was only 41. And he left behind a very young child and his young wife. And I still remember, you know, the, the few weeks before he passed away, we talked about the purpose, you know, why we're living on earth and all those things. And I asked him, have you done everything that you wanted to do? He said, no. And to me, the way that he answered it, it kind of struck me that, hey, you know what? If it is something that you really, really wanted to do, do it. Don't wait. Because the future, if I wanted to wait you know, 20 years from now, that day may never come. So I decided, and I thought, you know what? If this is my true passion, if this is my calling, that is why I'm here on earth right now, that is what I am made for, that is what I meant to do, I got to do it now. No waiting. So here I am. I put my name in the hat and say, you know what? I'm going to run and hopefully that I'll be able to serve the public and help you. And I hope that I can also leverage all of the skills that I have built from my corporate years and as an entrepreneur and also leverage my network to serve the city of Markham and obviously to make a difference in our community. And like uh, Gordon Landon was uh, mentioning before, that I have been attending uh, council meetings and in particular uh, participating in City of Markham events um, anywhere from celebrating diversity uh, for flag raising, whether it is Israel or Pakistani flag raising, uh, to preserving green space, which is the 10,000 trees uh, at Rouge Park. Um, and also, City of Markham's um, initiative, Building Markham's Future Together, or Smart City, I was there. I was part of it. And I will continue to be there and to be part of it.